If you love Viticulture, you need to pick this up. Hey, what's up? My name's Jimmy, and today I'm doing a review of Visit from the Rhine Valley. This is an expansion to Viticulture. Now, I was sent this copy of the game to review, and I'm excited about it because I absolutely love Viticulture and Tuscany and all of that stuff that is Viticulture. You throw all those pieces into the game, you start playing, it's amazing. But my only complaint about the base game is that a lot of the visitor cards have to do with just straight victory points. And as somebody who loved the idea of harvesting these fields and then crushing the grapes and then turning them into wine and fulfilling the orders, I kind of felt cheated sometimes when I didn't have to completely focus on that. Now, I don't think you can win Viticulture without fulfilling orders, but there are a lot of visitor cards that could kind of help you not have to do that as much. And Visit from the Rhine Valley totally changes that because the bulk of these cards are all about fulfilling orders and getting wine and trading wine for victory points and different things like that. So for instance, the early buyer, this lets you fulfill an order at the beginning of the round instead of having to wait to the end, and that's a great advantage for you to have. The Son-in-Law is such a cool card. It allows you to harvest a field without doing the action. And so if you pick this field early on in the game, then the rest of the game, you basically get this free action, a harvest that could be incredibly valuable. And then here are some great winner cards. This allows you to make up to two lines of value four or greater, even if you don't have an upgraded seller. So before you have to spend the money to upgrade that seller, you use this card right here and now you're already upgraded. Or here's the uh, enthusiast. You get to draw two of those great summer cards or you get to fulfill one order and draw a new order card. So all of these cards, and I mean, look at this just for the winter. All of these cards really focus on making the wine and that totally breathes some new life into a game that I already love. And so what's great is you could take these cards uh, ditch the box and put this in your base game it all fits in there and then before you play the game you just ask everybody hey do you want to play the base regular or do you want to switch things up and let's see how good we are at actually making wine and so i hope that people don't pass this up i know tuscany is a big deal and you need to buy that but this is also another set of cards that i think would be worth picking up